Hi, this is Darwin with Helia, and I'm going to show you how to configure PFSense uh, for use with 3CX phone system. Uh, we're going to go through a couple steps here, uh, configure the IP range, set DHCP, set option 66 for DHCP, so the phone's auto-configure, uh, setting up the manual outbound NAT, pro, uh, port forwarding, uh, so your ITSP can connect to 3CX, and then uh, some proxy software which will lead us into uh, a part two. Uh, so this is the default PFSense. Uh, default username is admin and uh, PFSense is the password. We'll go through the setup wizard here. Uh, I like to set my, my uh, host name as Gateway. If you have a commercially purchased domain name, you might want to put that in here. Uh, I like to use the OpenDNS uh, uh, DNS servers. Let me just look them up here. 208.67.222.222. OpenDNS does have a subscription, and I think it's well worth getting a subscription. It helps you uh, block and protect your, your network. Uh, I'm in Canada. I like to use the Canadian uh, time server pool, so I'm going to put that in here. Uh, and then for time zone, I'm up in Alberta, so we use the Edmonton time zone. Uh, for your WAN interface, this is really going to be dictated by your ISP, your internet provider. Uh, it's either DHCP, PPPoE, or static. I don't have anything plugged into my WAN port right now, so I'm going to leave it at DHCP. This is your LAN IP address. Uh, I like to use the 10 dot uh, range, so I'm going to put in uh, 10.20.0.0. As you, uh, if you have multiple sites, it's a good idea to put each one of your sites on a different IP range. In that case, you would go uh, 10.21 and then dot .22 for the next site all the way up. Uh, also for the subnet mask, by default it's 24. That means you can have up to 255 uh, devices on your network. Uh, for larger networks, uh, I like to put it up to 22. That means we can put up to 1,000 devices on the network. If you go much higher than that, you can uh, your network starts to slow down because of uh, broadcasts, uh, the amount of broadcasts that populate the entire uh, network. So 22 is, is a good number to start with. Uh, okay, subnet, uh, this is not allowed to land. Okay, so I made a bit of a mistake here. This actually should be 10.20.0.1, and I had it at 0 before. 0 is wrong. So we need to go to 1, 22, next. Min password, normal password rules. Use a, a combination of um, symbols, numbers, capital letters, lowercase letters. Okay, there we go. Now I did change the IP address of the device from 192.168.1.1 to uh, 10.20.0.1. So it's still showing up here like this, uh, and if I start looking at the um, the pages here, uh, what's going to happen is uh, it's going to time out and not let me uh, connect. And part of that's because my computer uh, got an IP address from the PFSense in this particular range. If I have a look at my uh, IP address, I'm just going to bring up a command window here and uh, type in IP config. That's going to tell me the IP address of my network. You can see it's in the 192.168.1.100 range, and that's been changed. The easiest way to set uh, to, to fix this problem is to